how to use headphones to pre-cue with DJ Pro for the iPad. In this video, I'm gonna show you all of the equipment that you will need, and I'm gonna show you how to do it with just the iPad, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you how to do it with a controller. So the first thing you're gonna need is a way to connect the actual headphone audio input cable into your iPad because modern iPads do not have a headphone jack. I wish they did, but they don't. So it's just something you're gonna have to deal with. So the first thing that you're gonna need is one of these. And I am going to leave a link down below to ones that I would recommend. All it does is it allows the USB-C to connect into the, to connect an audio cable into it. And please make sure to get one that has a way of charging the iPad. Otherwise, once the battery runs out of power, no more DJing. So this is the first thing that you are going to need. And that is also what you're going to need to just DJ without headphones, unless you're DJing with Bluetooth. Now the next thing that you're going to need, the next thing that you are going to need is going to be one of these. Now, there are a bunch of different options. I'll leave a link down below if I could find them. They could be hard to find. But this is a headphone splitter cable specifically made for DJing. Do not just get one that has the same connections as these because if they're not made for DJing, it won't work. So this one actually came with my Hercules DJ control mix. So I'll leave a link down below for the controller because this comes with the headphone splitter. So it's a pretty good deal. So now we have our headphone splitter. So in order to do this, we are going to have to connect this audio cable into the USB-C of our iPad. Make sure that we charge it so we don't run out of power. So now it is charging and we could put an audio cable out of our iPad. So if you were just DJing without headphones, that would be it. You just connect this to your speakers, but we want to use our headphones. So what we're going to do is we are going to plug our head headphones. Nope, we're not going to plug our headphones in. We're going to plug our splitter cable in. So now the iPad is charging and we have two audio outputs. So we are going to connect one. So now our headphones is connected. We have our headphones connected to our splitter cable. Now we are going to take our main output. And we are going to attach our cable from our main output, main output into our splitter. So our iPad is charging. We have our output going to our speakers and then we have them going to our headphones. So now you're going to get this notification that comes up as soon as you plug in the splitter cable and that is split output. Please make sure you have a split output adapter connected to your headphone jack. So this means that the output is split. If you didn't have a headphone splitter, it would mess up the audio. So that's just giving you the notification. So we're going to press OK. So now our headphones are connected, but it is still not working. We don't see any headphone symbols down here. So what you're going to have to do is go over to the middle button here and then go down. You might be in modes, just switch over to settings and then go to audio device settings. And then now the main output is going to the JBL, which we want it to. And then the pre-queuing says none. What we have to do is make sure that you have split output selected. So now we are going to hit split output and now it is split. So now if the track on the right is playing, the left deck is automatically going to be selected for the headphones. So now we are going to be able to hear the music that the audience is not hearing. And with the new update, they changed it. It used to just be the crossfader that would change the automatic headphone selection, but now it is also controlled by the volume. So look at the headphones over here. Then you are gonna see the headphone there. If I turn this volume up and then this down, the headphones is going to be there. So you don't have to worry about pressing these buttons as long as you have this setting selected, which is down here where it's pre-queuing auto select. 
So as long as you have that selected, then whichever deck is not being played to the audience, you are automatically going to hear it with your headphones. So it's really cool that they did that update because a lot of people don't use the crossfader and most people just use these volume sliders. So that's all you have to do. It's one, it's two adapters. It's the adapter to get the audio out and then it's the adapter to split the, the audio. But if you don't wanna fool around and mess around with all of these adapters, then I would recommend going with a controller like this one. This is the Newmark DJ to go to touch. And it's only around 90 or maybe close to $100. And then you don't have to worry about getting all these adapters, which would add up anyway. So in order to use headphones this way, all we're gonna need is an adapter like this. This connects regular USB into USB-C. So we connect this end to the iPad and then we connect our controller into the iPad. Now our controller is connected, and now this has a, an area for the main output, which is right there. Main output. And then headphones has its own output. So this controller has a built-in sound card, so it makes it so much easier and better quality. So now our headphones are gonna be playing the same way, it, whichever the way the crossfader or whichever deck that the audience is not listening to, our headphones are going to be connected that way. And then to just make sure, or maybe to adjust it a little bit, press the middle button, audio device settings. So now, our main output is channels one and two, and then channels three and four are for our pre-queuing. So it's really easy. That's all you have to do is go through this setting, make sure that your pre-queuing is on the channel that you want, and make sure that your output is on the output that you want. And if you guys wanna see my full tutorial on how to map controllers, check out this video over here.